All right, hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on preload async. Preload async is used to load content into the game manually before using it. This tutorial is more for programmers who know what they're doing. So if you're looking for something more specific, uh, you probably won't find it here. Uh, also, there is a lack of documentation for its callback argument. Uh, I'll explain that in this video. But um, to start off, we're in, uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna add uh, two audios here. I'm just gonna name it oh, sound. And we're going to name it audio one and audio two. Next, we're going to go down here. We're going to add a script, normal script into server script service. And to start, we're going to uh, assign a table. I'm going to call it assets table. Uh, game dot workspace dot audio one and then separated audio two. Pretty simple, just a table, nothing too drastic. We're gonna assign another function. We're gonna actually assign the callback function first. Uh, this calls for content ID and the status. Show you what we do with those in a second. Uh, for this, I'm just gonna print the content ID so we know it's actually getting loaded. And if status equals enum. Uh, asset fetch status success yeah. so status actually returns an enum which determines whether it's successful or it failed here we're gonna add the asset was successfully loaded and now you can do whatever you want with the content here but I'm just for the the video we're gonna do successfully loaded uh, content ID. Next, we're gonna give status equals um, asset fetch status dot failure. Then the asset was not loaded. The print couldn't load. Pretty simple, we're just printing the statement, seeing if something's true or false. Uh, we're actually gonna go above this function now, and we're going to make the preload function, function preload asset. Actually preload assets, uh, content, content table. Um, now we're actually gonna get the service here of content provider and then preload async content table callback so what this is doing we're assigning a function so every time we want to preload this these assets we just call this function we provide it with the assets table which we're going to do in a second and we're putting that we're loading that into um, the arguments of preload async and then the second argument of preload async is actually the callback function, and this will always return the content ID and the status. You know, I guess that makes sense. Um, now, if this continues, we're gonna assume that either either these were already loaded or manually loaded. So basically now everything, once you get to here, everything should be completely loaded because uh, this actually is an async function. So it waits for everything in this table to be loaded before continuing. And now, last thing we do is preload assets. So we're just gonna supply it with the assets table. Again, assets table, and we're gonna, it's providing it with this. Actually, before we test it, we're gonna add print um, all assets loaded. So this doesn't necessarily actually mean that all the assets were loaded. It just means that all the assets, it's the assets that were, that could be loaded were loaded. So that's why we have this callback function to tell us if something fails or not. I test it. See all assets loaded. So the reason this is so useful is because if you have an image or an audio 
Um, sometimes if you just go straight into using it, it won't, the script will actually error because it hasn't loaded in yet. So preload async is very useful and something that you actually really need if you're scripting with audios and images. So that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, make sure to just leave them below. I'll see you in the next video.